Up next is Minerals, Energy and Related Services. This award recognises outstanding international success in the production, processing, value-adding of extractive resources or provision of equipment, services or solutions related to the mining, oil and gas and renewables industries. Our sponsor of this category is Minerals Council of Australia. Joining me is General Manager Trade and Investment, Demas King. Um, over to you, Demas, to announce the finalists for this category. First, Tell us a little about your support for these awards. Thanks, Koshi. The Australian mining industry is made up of large and small businesses, from the miners themselves to the Australian companies and family businesses that provide the services to a global industry. Environmental services, safety, engineering, data, the list is long. Whether they mine or provide technical and other services, they each make up an important contribution to Australia's trade competitiveness and Australia's trade success story. These awards provide the opportunity to recognise and celebrate the incredible innovation, the expertise, the cleverness and the commitment of those Australian businesses who take the huge step to compete on a global stage. The finalists in the Australian Export Awards Minerals, Energy and Related Services category are uh, uh, Dexter, Proprietary Limited, Australian Capital Territory, Concept, New South Wales, NLT, Digital Solutions, Queensland, Safe Escape, Victoria, Western X Supply, Western Australia. Over to you, Koshi, to announce this year's winner. Thanks, Demos, and the Minerals Council of Australia for their ongoing support. The winner of the Minerals, Energy and Related Services category is CONCEP. Ah, oh, Grant Stewart, congratulations, you and the team and the dog there, looking very attractive with the kerchief. Uh, uh, is, that, is that the lucky charm or mascot? Yes, mate. Comes in every day, looks after us. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, congratulations. What's the main factor you credit to achieving such phenomenal success globally? Well, mate, we follow the gold industry around the world. So we'll go where, you know, gold starts economies. You know that. Yep. Basically, anywhere, anywhere there's a new country that needs to stimulate its economy, they put in a gold mine. So we go in there, tell them how to and help them how to recover, help them how to get more recoveries than they've done before and get it out in the cheapest way possible. OK, t tell us the, uh, the most obscure, the, the f most far-reaching customer that you've, you've had to work with. Well, I think it's, I think it's where I was in Zimbabwe where Jimmy had to stand in front of 40 hippos in one of our shots or so. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, no, it's Tanzania. In Tanzania? Yeah. Right. With a customer that hardly had yep. any resources. Um, yeah, so we, we, are, we were on the fridge. Of, we were on about 200 metres from the Ebola virus when that was all around. Um, we had to go to Freeport just after they had a shooting of all the teachers one year. Um, oh, yeah, we've cool. been to some pretty brave places, and this team never falters. They'll go up and go anywhere. So we don't send people where they're going to be in danger, but everybody knows the importance of what we're doing, and we always stand up. Hippos, Ebola, riots. Co <laughs> COVID must seem a walk in the park for you guys. Well, it, it, it was, actually. I mean, we basically said we were going to thrive during this time, and we actually doubled our sales over this period of time. So... Um, it wasn't easy, uh, but everybody pulled in. Yeah, we're an Australian manufacturer, so half of our staff is actually blue collar, and they pulled in through it and came every day. So as the LGAs were coming and shutting people down, we were recalculating how we were going to meet all this demand. So it was a very trying time, but we pulled through, and um, to get this success is just, it's an amazing thing. So we've got to thank everybody so much. We're, yeah. we are, we're over the moon. Amazing. Well, that, that tenacity has got you this award and an amazing result. Who, apart from the dog and our, our hippo watcher, uh, who have you got behind you <laughs> in the team? Sorry, mate, we missed that. Who, who, but we've got who, people who, from every department here. We've got Paddy that was up on buildings in North Sydney today helping with our hoists. We were helped build the World Trade Centre. We've got Phil that's designed every piece of equipment over the last 20 years. Jimmy that's been everywhere. Brendan that sells everything. Pete that travels around WA. Kate, that anybody in WA needs a spare part, she knows exactly what it is. <laughs> Paul, that's been over there, redesigning Canada's electrical systems, and, and Shane as well, that would make sure we don't spend too much money. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is fantastic because these awards 
recognised teams and, and the human beings, the faces behind it. Congratulations again to Concept and the uh, Minerals Council of Australia. Uh, uh, an award well deserved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.